Uh, welcome back to uh, Gentoo's Arch Entry Part Three. Uh, let's let's talk about. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so anyway, uh, let, let's add uh, let's add a material to this uh, casing. There's the uh, material that uh, Gentoo. Ooh, check that out, man. Is that what he is that how he had it done? Yeah, do you like that? I don't. How about if I rotate the texture around like uh texture rotated? These are always tricky when you get this brick on this stuff. There. I don't know. I think uh Alan Alan uh Brown has a video on how he actually did this and it's probably better than this, but that ain't too good. And I think that's probably what Gentoo did. He probably didn't go into a whole lot of detail on that, but that's about the best I can do without getting too fancy with uh, the materials and stuff. As I said, Alan Brown did something. Anyway, uh, whatever. It ain't great. Hey, you know, one thing, uh, one thing, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how uh, Gentoo did his um, control X. Go up here, control six, put it right there. Hey, where's my roof? Where's my roof, man? Oh, I did a, where's my roof? W, uh, cancel, control save, H. I guess I didn't do a, there it is, H, uh, F6. Uh huh. So there's, so suppose I uh, put a casing on this. Uh, don't suppress this. Now take this and pull it down to here. Now uh, casing, suppress casing. Did that do it? Do I go downstairs and see that little, yep. That's, that's probably how Jintu had done it. He had put the, the other arch up on the, on the attic level. And so now he's got this little return wall. I mean, that's one way of doing it. That's one way of doing it. So, control save, uh, control save, file save as two. Let's just try something else. File save as two. Save. Now, um, uh, 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 let's see, what do I want to do? I want to take this, control X, it's the upstairs deal, delete this right here, delete, six, put it back here, you put it at uh, 10 feet tall, zero off the floor, there, I'm back to this. But now what I want to do is you, I want to delete. I don't want to use the casing on this, okay? Now suppose I want to put the casing on the in, on this on this right here. How would I do that? You. Let's choose a casing for this. I don't want to suppress it. I want to go to the library and I want to choose Gen 2.5. Okay. You, I want it to be, I want the casing to be uh, 24 inch by 16 inch deep. There's his casing. But I really want it on the interior of the door. Can I have it? Oh, okay. You, um, casing, reveal, minus 18. Ah, see what I just did? Now I'm using the casing on the interior, right? U, casing, minus 24. Do I like that better? U, casing. Uh, see, now this is the tough part. I can't, I don't know if I can recess it. I can't recess it. It's on the outside. That's kind of a bummer, isn't it? 
that's kind of a bummer. Because suppose I want to recess it in. Well, now you get back to uh, just doing a 3D molding and putting it on there like that. That would be one way of doing it. You get what I'm saying, good buddy? I don't know. I'm just playing around here, uh, looking at options. Um, options. Recessed into, recessed into main layer. Yep. Did you see it? It moved in just a little bit to the main layer. But I want to really move it in even further. But I can't. So how would I do that if I wanted to? I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to try something here. P. Tab. Tab. 16 inches. Delete. This. U. Uh, general. 16. Let's see what happens. See, now I, now I pulled that thing all the way into there. And it doesn't do any good. I mean, you know, it just it, I'm just piddling around and uh, uh, I can't pull the casing in. Because I wanted to put the casing on this arch, on the exterior arch, and not where Gentoo had, had put it. He, he had put it on here. I don't know why I wanted to do it. I just did. I wanted to try it. So anyway, you uh, casing, take that casing off, and now you can see how this, see how that wraps all the way back into there. It could be stone or whatever. And now I can go ahead and you select this and put the casing on this thing again. I don't want to suppress it, and I only want it to be uh, say 12 inches deep. Yeah, no, I'm gonna make it four inches deep. And I, I uh, options, I want to uh, casing. Options, lintel frame, options, recess to the main layer. Now you're going to see it goes. Yeah, in fact, it got recessed to the main layer, and I even lost all that stuff. I mean, is that what you want to do? I don't know. It's a possibility. And then I can uh, then I can select this U and. Uh, 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 what am I going to do? Oh, I know. I want to pull that wall out, a tab, tab, minus 24. I want to pull this out, tab, tab, minus 24. And I want to come, oh, come over here and tab, is that the wall? Tab, pull this out, tab, oh, 24. I want to go up here and pull this wall out 24. Now you can see what's happened. Now I've created a really, really deep whatever right there, if that's what you want to do. And how, how did I do that? Um, I don't know. I, I think I had, a real, I had a real deep wall here. Yeah, I had a real deep wall. I can make it even deeper if I wanted to. In fact, if I want to, I can go uh, U. Let's try something here. I don't know what I want to try. I don't want to try anything. Do I want to try? I don't want to try. Uh, I don't want to try. And, uh, piddle around with all you want. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I better pull this roof out. What do you think, huh? Uh, tab tab minus twenty four. Tab tab minus twenty four. There. There you go. Oh, now now check this out. Now, why do you think that thing uh, does that right there? You, you think that material is uh, global symbol mapping? Oh, I guess not. 
I don't know what the difference between that global symbol mapping is. Oh, wow. That, ooh, that, ooh, look what happened there. Oh. Timer up. Check this out. Now it's now you can see this arch, and it's looking sort of good there, I think. Oh, global symbol mapping is working. You get know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's what happens with global symbol mapping. It, 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 oh, maybe it doesn't. I don't want global symbol mapping. Maybe that's what I don't want. Yeah, I probably don't. It's really weird. I don't want global symbol mapping. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want global symbol mapping. Oh, but check this out. This isn't, this isn't very good, is it? So do I want global symbol mapping? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I don't know. I, I hadn't noticed that before. And now I, oh, on this side, that's, okay, it looks good there, doesn't it? It looks good, looks good there. It doesn't look good over here. Boy, I, I, I H, try it one more time. F6. I noticed that. It lines up over here almost, but it certainly doesn't line up over here. I don't know why. And I ain't going to get into this. I'll get into it. Timer's up. Delete that. Yeah, just a little leftover wall. See, now it's fixed. Okay. Thank you, Gentoo. That was, uh, I guess it wasn't a big, anyway, I stretched that out, out as long as I could. That's the end of part three. Done.